Hey everybody, Emmanuel, God is with us. to praise the Lord because he's blessed us so much. For those of you who are saying, how could he have blessed us? We're in our right mind. We're able to think and we're alive. Those are gifts from God. No one else can give them to you but God. So that's why I praise him before I start a video. So I'm using my paint pot. This was on sale at Ulta soft ochre so it's the one that has a little bit of yellow in it okay I'll take care of those dark circles underneath my eyes after I put on this eye makeup. But I had a, no, I got another compliment when I was doing my haul video on another, my new everyday look. So I thought, mm, I'll show you. My, my, if you guys buy these, if you are a person that uses them, I've been using mine for a while and the packaging is falling apart. So this, was a cute idea but it's not something i'm going to be able to reuse because it's falling apart this is two years old my colors are good so okay so i'm using my pumpkin shade here and for those who are wondering i like to pan my eyeshadow because um some of the eyeshadows say they go bad after a while and so when i start using an eyeshadow I usually try to finish it within a year's time. Sometimes it takes me two years. So if an eyeshadow says that you have to, if an eyeshadow palette with 10 colors says that you have to use it all within six months, I'm like, you know, something's wrong there. It's not a cost savings for me because I, even though I use the same eyeshadow palette over and over and I find that I don't get bored, I find new looks. Even if the eyeshadow palette is a five pan palette, I can find new looks for myself at that price, you know. And now, you guys, I just go ahead and do my under eye at the same time as I do my top eye because I'm using the same brush. And you see it's much fainter on the bottom. And then I just go ahead and do my under eye with my concealer after I finish. So whatever goes down further than I want, if that happens, which is rare, um, I just go ahead and fix it later. I don't have a eyelining brush, so, but I'm not worried about that because I like a smoky eyed look. I wanna just blend that out just a little bit more. And now, gonna go into my black out of this palette which I am also panning this was the last masterclass palette at Smashbox now they do these little palettes that I don't like I like these big ones these are for people who use their makeup whereas those little palettes are for makeup hoarders that don't really use their makeup and they're always complaining about where am I gonna store it if you're using it all the time that's not a question that comes up, you know. For those of us who use our makeup, I'm using it, you know. And to have a full on, just, I'm blowing because I'm doing this video normally. I pat, but I wanted you to know that I do kind of wipe off the excess. So that's the black I'm using from this master class from Smashbox. Back when they used to do these big palettes. Now only Tarte and Too Faced still put out a big Christmas palette every year. Everybody else just puts out an um, eyeshadow palette. I like these face palettes. You know. I really like a face palette. So 
when I run out of the ones I have, which will be in another year or two, I will definitely buy another one from Too, Fat, Too Faced or Tarte if they're still doing it at that time. Because I like them. I like to get my blush and my eyeshadow and whatever other little, you know, mascaras and eye pencils and whatever little products like that they want me to test out. I like getting that in the all-in-one. I don't consider it bulky because I'm not buying excessive amounts of palettes anymore. I got one palette last year. Doesn't matter what size of palette it was, it would be fine. So now I just take my finger and do a little extra blending there because this is black. You know, like that song, black, oh, black, oh, black, oh, black, oh, black, you know. So we don't want to, we don't want to go too far with that. We don't want to go too far with that. But I then, um, you know, these little brushes that you get with your, with your eyeshadow palette. I try to buy palettes that give me an eyeshadow brush because I like them. I am not a snooty person. I'm on a budget. I don't buy those expensive makeup brushes because I believe that it's hype. Okay. And I'm taking this shiny color here and topping my black with it just to make it a dark enough pumpkin shade for my skin tone. So that's what I'm doing. If you're a light skin person, um, you would have to use a lighter color than the pumpkin shade that I used all of my this color would be this color here would be dark on you so you would take that dark shade and use it where I'm using this darker color and I even had to use black see the difference now that I've muted that black color I just use it as a base for this right here you could do this with your fingers this is the old Natasha Denona palette and she loves to do stuff with her fingers but um I'm not you know as professional as her and I sometimes forget that I did something with my fingers. And then when I'm washing my fingers, then I got eyeshadow all over the sink. So this just works better for me. And these brushes are very dense on one side. And then they're loose and fluttery for blending on the other side. So, And I just tap in there. Any cheap brush works good for this. And diffuse that color in there. If you're a person that likes more black or brown, you could do that, but I'm good with that. Now we're going to go into the fun stuff. We're going into the fun stuff here. And um, I'm going to take this gold color here, which I just started to use. I think I've got to carve out today. I don't always carve out, but I think I got a little bit of the red color there, and I don't want it there. So take my Fenty here. And I'm only using my Fenty to carve because it's got this brush and I don't have a concealer brush. So you don't have to be precise about this. It's not it's not a big deal. So I don't do those looks where you gotta line everything up. I'm not 19 and dating. I'm just Making myself presentable for the world. Letting them know I still know I'm alive. And I'm going to take the blending side. And again, this thing has totally come off. Oh. But it did take two years to do it. So if I had used it all right away, I guess I could have beat it. And now I'm just taking this and banging it on the eyeball. And going in. It's a glitter. This is a glitter. So it's not so you don't have to worry about being precise with it. It's not gonna matter. It'll it'll do whatever you want to do. And I'm not putting the glitter in the tip of the brush, I'm putting it on the fold. So I'm acting like this brush is a finger. Guys, we have to guard our money because the beauty industry is trying to come up with more things for us to buy. But it's not like we're getting paid any more money. Where are we supposed to get all this money? You know? And every new item, they want another $20 bill plus tax. Okay? And now I'm going to go over to the other side. Same brush. But I'm just switching to the other side of the brush. 
and going into the tip there. I just started using this champagne color on a regular basis. But the the frosted colors go faster. The color that's not frosted, I've been using that one regularly. I'm going on my second year. And I have just hit pan this year. Whereas the frosted color, I hit pan as soon as I used it. But I don't use that one all the time. And I'm not going to go on the bottom with this. I got the pumpkin shade at the bottom and that's good enough for me. Put my eyeliner on. Make sure everything's the way I want it. And um, I'll be back. I thought you might want to see the way those three colors blend in into each other. So I'm not showing my eyeliner to show the eyeliner, but I just thought... You can see the blend there really, really good. Okay. Here's my new lip product. I don't have anything else on with it, but it has a stain in it, and it changed. So it's now a beautiful cranberry color. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a new Jelly Milk by Sephora. I figure it's a new product because I couldn't even find it online, and I went to my store, and they didn't have it. This was my Valentine's Day gift. Look at that color in Flamingo. It's dark and rich, sexy. Oh, it's great for the summer, the spring, you know. Well, for my skin tone, it's great all year long. This would be a great um, red for the holidays for me. I just wanted to show you. Look at that. Say again, happy Valentine's Day or happy Galentine's Day. Yes, I love love and I'm celebrating because Jesus loves you. And I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful. <laughs>